So I, I'm really excited to, uh, to work with Kathy um, because Kathy is a nonpartisan and interdisciplinary forum that brings together experts and stakeholders from a variety of disciplines and backgrounds. And it provides independent analyses of agri-food policy issues. And I think that independence and interdisciplinarity is very important. And working with Kathy is a unique opportunity for me, uh, this chance to work with other experts and stakeholders to address challenges facing the Canadian agri-food sector is, is really important to me. My research focuses on uh, what I'll call the governance models that characterize relations among Canada's federal and provincial territorial governments and other stakeholders in making and implementing policy in the agri-food sector that are involved in making and implementing policy for agriculture and food. Now, these governance models include collaboration, for example, around the framework agreements, but they also include governments acting independently and non-cooperatively. And so the objective of the research is to assess the effectiveness of these existing governance models when it comes to their ability to meet current challenges, including government-wide priorities of addressing climate change. My research will also include a comparative case study of the European Union's Common Agricultural Policy, or CAP, as we call it. The CAP has undergone reforms to give higher priority to goals of sustainability and climate change action. And my research will examine what, if any, lessons can be drawn from these changes in the EU for Canadian agri-food policy. I think my research is important um, to the future of the agri-food industry because the challenges confronting the agri-food sector, I think all specialists will agree, indicate that it cannot be business as usual when it comes to how we make agri-food policy in Canada. We're going to need innovations and reforms. Canadian federal, provincial, and territorial governments and the producers are going to need to work collaboratively if we're going to get these reforms and if those reforms are going to be effective, legitimate, and durable over the medium and long term.